Hey guys, what's up? Benino5 here, and today we're playing some Death Row to Canada. You know, I thought this would be a, a good idea, but it's probably not. It's it's a terrible idea. Let's get into it. Who are we gonna play as? Hmm. Who are we gonna play as? Now let's play as Disco Dan. He can dance all day. I'm gonna go with who. Why did I name him that? Because I'm I'm an idiot, basically. Disco Dan hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Alright, let's hit the road. You know, let's go for the hotel. Let's let's try it out. I mean, I've played this game a little bit, and I don't really go to the hotel much, but maybe there's something at the hotel. Man, uh, can you get out of the way? Thank you, Cherry, much. I, I really appreciate that. No, let's just uh, reach into the toilet here. I, I, I love how that's an option. These people are just willing to stick their hands in the toilet for, for gas. Real, real funny. I'm dying. Now. Oh, oh, um, uh, do, do we walk in on you, ma'am, sir, person? Okay, we're just, we're, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we got two food, we got a little gas. You know, this is actually pretty, this is, this is pretty good. We got a, we got a decent amount of medical, too. It gets late, and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance, and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay and watch? You know what? We'll be tired, but it's better than losing all our stuff. Let's just take shifts. The group takes turns sleeping during the night. Who was very tired in the morning, and Disco Dan didn't sleep great either. So their morale has decreased a little, but we can live with that. The group finds a gas station far off the main road. Someone has looted the store, and there's no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. So we can leave the pumps alone. Who try attempts to affix them? Or Disco Dan crawls into the tank. Disco Dan, you get in there. Get in there, man. Volunteers to climb into the tanks. There's a lot of struggling and blind luck involved, but he squirms into the tank. The group collects up that precious gas. So we got 106 gas once a lot. And apparently, I my fitness increased and my fitness is great. I, I mean, I've been dancing all day, man. Mm. So, the group spies the city from a distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy. At least at first. Okay, that's great. We can go to a police station, which might have some guns. Let's let's go into the police station. Okay, I'm gonna pop in here really fast because it's early. Uh, we'll be able to get by with the other zombies in the police station, but I think we should loot this place first just to get the extra supplies. So this is how this is how the front of your house is laid out. So two chairs. Right, two chairs in the front, looking at the door, looking right at that door, and then there's an armor behind you. What's what? What is the point? Ah, uh, yes, the food cupboard next to my bed. What's the point in this room? Hello and welcome back to Let's Redesign Your Entire House. So today, the Karens asked me to come and redesign their house because they just moved in. Uh, let's go see what we can do. Okay, so I just walked into the space. It's it's huge. It's open. There's so much I can do with it, so I think I came up with a perfect idea. I'm going to put two chairs and an armor behind it. Right in front of the front door. Perfect. It's, it's, you can't beat it. All right, next for this bedroom. Yeah, it's really big. You know, we could do a lot. So, in the middle of the room, put a small bed and a food cupboard right next to it. Wow, I'm on a roll today. I'm on, I, I'm on a roll. Lastly, this room. Okay, so... Oh, I got a great idea. Let's just make it empty. I mean, who doesn't want an empty room, right? Thanks for joining me on Interior Design, and join us next week when I use my incredible design abilities to ruin a couple other people's houses. Thanks. Budville Police. Brass Nucks. Yes. Here, you can have some Brass Nucks. Pipe bombs are really valuable. on in here. Scooter dude. Oh, it's just another humongous bathroom. 
Who needs that many bathrooms? How many times are you going to the bathroom, dude? Ah, okay, this is weird. We're just gonna go around this side so we don't die. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, nice. We got out of there. So we found a good amount of food and actually a little bit of gas. The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they get so they are getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal. Uh, you know what? Let's sing a song. The group tries to keep spirits high by singing. Whether or not the singing was any good mostly depends on your attitude. So both of them must have a good attitude. I don't want to go to Canada. It's too cold. I mean, I mean, just dance. It'll be warmer. <laughs> The group looks at a McDowell's, which was the most popular restaurant in the United States before civilization fell. Even after all this time, the food found here is still preserved due to all- Who needs food when you can have kids' meals toys? The group finds one remaining kids' meals toy. It's a good one. We don't have any guns anyway. Okay. The group meets a man holding a bazooka in a satchel overstuffed with beeping mines. <laughs> That's safe. He looks so happy with his explosives. These weapons will not let you down, unless, of course, you blow yourself up with them. Nah, I don't think we need those. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, mechanic training, I'm guessing. Meets a woman. I can help you get better repairing stuff. Mm. Nah. We're, we're, we're good. Okay, let's go in here. <laughs> get out of our house. You know what? I'm just gonna take the, the bullets you put in your freezer for some reason. Yes. Well, I shoot. I'd like my bullets to be freezing cold. Oh, it's Betta. Nice. She's the friend of dog and she's charming. Maybe we can get a dog. Dogs are pretty sick. I mean, in my opinion, dogs, they're fast. And they, they you can bark. You can attract zombies. They're really great at um, distracting the horde. Okay, try to survive. Oh, great. It's a siege. Okay, we're back. Sorry, my recorder stopped recording. <laughs> This side, run around this side. Mm, this is this is this is a little close. Get a little out. Got to ooh, 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 ah, mm, 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 mm. Call that one the spinner. Okay, the siege is over. Okay, come over here. Come over here. Yeah, let's hit the road. Nice. We found a we found a little gas. That 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 was that wasn't totally worthless. Nice. We were we were all the way, we are all the way healed. Wow. That's that that was pretty sick. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of us. Um, uh, you know, let's do medical because we can improve our medical even more and use less med kits. Uh, that, I mean, that's that that would be great. So, Disco Dan has terrible medical. Betta has terrible medical. Uh, my Be Disco Dan's medical increased, so did Betta's. Whose medical is looking pretty sick? I mean, it's 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 medical. He's not actually sick. He. You get, you get the Lightning point. rod for dogs. Nice. A dog approaches the group out of nowhere. It seems eager to join up. Mm. Demario, let's go. Let's go, Demario. Pick someone to spend a day repairing junk. Let's go with who? Cause he's good at medical. He must be good with his hands a little. Mm. Spends the day trying to fix something in the in the junk pile. He actually gets a lot of cups, scrapes, and bruises. He learns about repair the hard way. Okay, his mechanical's still terrible, but it's a little better. And their morale decreased. That's that's great. That we're this is this is just going great. Concrete bunker. Let's go there. The group sees a monstrous army of zombs near a forest road. They are milling around a small concrete structure jutting at the ground. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm going to uh, leave the med guy here because I'm worried that he might die, but he's critical to us not dying. Um. Betta, I'm also gonna leave here, and I'm gonna go with Disco Dan and Demario. Skadoosh. Okay. So let's let's get down in here. Okay. A lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. This probably is not it's not a good sign. Um, concrete wall things. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, run them around. Oh come on. That was kind of cheap. Wow, this guy is a real... Wow. Whoever whoever is living in here, or did live in here, really prepared. Jeez, dude, that's this is a lot of supplies. That door up. Several beds. Probably a small family living in here. I'm 
guess it is. Okay, I'm getting a little worried now because I have the pipe bombs and uh, I don't want to lose all the pipe bombs. That would be fun. Are you kidding me? It's a shotgun and a green turret. Oh, nice! Sick. That is awesome. So I have two two of the pipe bombs. There's a lot of shotguns here. What's this? Is this like a sniper shotgun? An SUG shotgun. Yeah, let's go with it. That's interesting. Okay, running out here. I can, you know what, I'm gonna come back for those grenades. Cause I'm not leaving just multiple grenades while come on. Where's the car? Where's the car? Did we get a car? We have a car, right? Did we just pop into this place without a car? Yeah, let's hit the road. Alright, we got a ton of food now. That's, that's, that's just great. Sorry, I stood up there. It might, it might have been a little hard to hear my audio. Do Mario choose on a non-zombie bone? Uh, so, the group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wo wood stove in it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. Okay, let's go out and chop some of that wood. Who should go and chop the wood? Uh, let's go, let's go with who. Who chops a bunch of firewood and gets the wood stove going before passing out from exhaustion? He'll be very tired tomorrow. So his strength increases. The fire feels great. Oh, nice. Everyone got a morale boost. 11, 11 days left. Mm, 11. Okay, guys. Um, I decided that that was enough human torture. So I'm going to end it here. If you guys like this, I mean, I can do another. I, I had fun making this. If you want me to make more, just comment. Yeah, hope, you, hope you guys stay safe out there.